in San Jose and now we're going inside this mall to have our late lunch. The road was pretty windy so I'm a little bit dizzy right now. Ah. Wow. You guys, this is a huge mall. What the heck? See, there's a line to go to the food court. We've been waiting for 10 minutes. It's not so bad. But it just sucks that we have to fall in line. Finally. Mm. Finally. <laughs> you, you, you back it up. The... Mm -hmm. We just got gas. And now off to the hotel we go. Okay. We're back. Oh, back in a hotel. Gonna say goodbye to Macho Papa soon. These are all of our stuff, you guys. Oh, here. Ooh. Okay. We still need to fix. We still need to fix the trap camper. We need to go back. Just want to check in and put our stuff in our room before we clean up the place. Valet boy, coming through. <laughs> My valet boy. What's up? No tip, ha. Kiss lang. Kiss is the tip. <laughs> Here. Let's go. Nice. Oh, this is more spacious. Yeah. Nice. I love it. It has more space. And it's in a corner room. But we are ready to rest. But before resting, we need to clean up the truck camper. Let's go. Macho Papa. Ooh, ooh. It's raining. It's pouring. Maybe you can just put it here. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna go in and start cleaning Just don't put it up yet because i need to take off all the hello welcome to our tiny home and today is our last day with macho papa we're gonna return him in a couple of minutes the airbnb host will be here and to pick it up but before that every time we leave okay. a place now an airbnb go. or hotel we clean not like clean the entire place but we just want to make sure that it's easier for him to clean the place not give it back messy because we're not like that you know okay so first off i need to pull up the switch for the roof so that it'll be easier for me to clean this place and then I'm gonna need a trash bag because we have some trash that we want to throw. Let's get cleaning! Hey! Laundry ties on. We got a lot of things to laundry. Is it garbage? It looks like someone's gonna camp. <laughs> we might get the chance to throw someone out. Yeah, we're just gonna say like, hey. Sorry, bro. I'm gonna bring this because it's a lot. Yeah. We got it. Ramen, that's shit. That's whack. 
This one. Where? These are just shoes. Yeah. This is done. So this one is laundry, love. Our laundry. Where? This one. You gonna clean the thing because it's filthy as fuck. You have a trash? Yeah, this is trash. You can also have your own. I just use the air freshener a little bit. I just want. Don't spray too much. Enough. Because it's gonna suffocate us. Uh, Right? Oh well. Woo! Teamwork makes the dream work. Pound it, baby. Woo! Like inside here now. There's no trash that we might need to drive to yeah. unless we can ask the reception man. Oh my god, Martin's getting wet. Babe, are you okay? Yeah. Thank you, love. We painted 10, 10 mil. 10 mil. <laughs> okay, perfect. So it was like I said, I have the guys do all of these ball joints and all the messy stuff. Goodbye! Taking a last look. Macho Papa. Guys, say goodbye to him. I'm gonna miss you. He's sad. I know. I'm sad. <laughs> Me too. That's just gonna oh. hurt. And even the sky is crying. Bye! haven't talked to you guys that much today I'm packing our stuff our room is a mess right now I wasn't able to vlog that much here in our hotel room but maybe some of you guys are interested and as you all know in every travel vlog there is always here to so sorry for the mess I'm apologizing in advance because it's really messy and I'm trying to pack everything and trying to get rid of some of the things that I might not be needing anymore. So this is what usually happens every time we leave a country or a place that we know we have to ride a plane. So I told you it's messy. It's like something happened here. Like honestly, all the meds are... Oh my gosh, I am sorry guys. We have a closet here and this is our bathroom. Our bathroom is also quite a mess i apologize I, I i i really am but then again what can i do i don't really have that much time even to clean other things like self-care so yeah that's the shower hot and cold the bar area this is what i will be using tomorrow morning because we will be leaving early so i already prepared you know my underwear and 
clothes that I will be wearing. This is my hand carry. I just had to make sure that I don't have any liquid things over 100 ml or 150 ml. This is Martin's working station. He's been working nonstop for two days straight. He's been editing and I'm honestly very amazed by how much effort he puts in every travel vlog. Like even to shoot and produce and edit he really does a great job to that so if you guys haven't subscribed to him i will be putting the link of his youtube channel on the description box as much as i really want to bring this home with me but i'm not using it as often anymore so i think it's about time to say goodbye to this and some stuff that we won't like even if there's still some you know i'm just gonna leave that there because liquids take so much kilos I specifically booked two beds. Why? Is because this bed is for when we have our outside clothes on and we can still lay in the bed. And this is our bed that we sleep in and where I also edit. These are all Martin stuff. He's gonna take care of that later. Before I end this vlog, I wanna talk about the things that I learned having an RV life. The things that I learned throughout this experience. And honestly, I'm gonna do camper, living in a camper van or even living in a van the next, I think, year. If given the chance that we go to Australia, back to Europe or USA, I think that's a nice way to travel around. Or I wouldn't say the rental truck camper that we had was cheap but it was the right choice for Costa Rica because it's very expensive here especially when you like you really do have to have a car with you but if you're a solo traveler it's easy to get around if you only have a backpack but for us since we are living out of our suitcases and we travel full time we basically have all of the things that we own in this luggage and we can't really have a one backpack however i will highly recommend to try even at once even just one night to live in a camper truck camper van doing a van life because it will really test your comfort zone i must say that it was bad but i hold my the dirty deed for three days and that's not good if i'm gonna do it again i want to have a toilet inside because for a girl, it's very hard. I don't know, maybe some of you women are easy to do it, but for me, I felt like it's such a sacred thing to do. <laughs> it's such a personal thing. Peeing is okay, you know, you can go to the bushes. Other than that, I would love to do it again and if you guys are wondering how much we paid for it it's 140 to 150 dollars a night trust me that's already quite a good price just want to thank you guys for hanging out with me and spending time with me and martin getting this unforgettable experience in costa rica and if you guys have any suggestions where we can do this again which countries please comment below i love you all good night Get your beauty rest. You really need that. Drink lots of water. Take your vitamin C, which is I'm, uh, I'm actually doing right now. I'm, I'm drinking my vitamin C. We will see you guys on the next destination.